Hey everybody, welcome back. If you remember a few days ago on Thanksgiving, I asked everybody, hey, what are you carrying today as your Turkey Day carry gun? You know, what gun are you using as your, I guess, the holiday equivalent of a barbecue gun? And I asked people to not only tell me what they were carrying, but if they could, to send me pictures. Now, I thought seven or eight people might do this. Well, it turns out several dozen people sent me pictures. So I'm going to be doing a few days of videos featuring the pictures that viewers sent me. Now, I'm not going to use all of them for a couple of reasons. One, because some of them don't really meet the criteria. I wanted to know what you were carrying. I didn't want to see a picture of a gun on a table or just in your hand. I wanted to see it on you as you carried it. So I won't be showing some of those pics that came in. Like I said, don't fit the criteria. Uh, another reason I won't be showing some of them is because some of them were wildly inappropriate. Now, I will be keeping those for my own personal use, but I will not be putting them on YouTube because I would be canceled. So with no further ado, let's get started here with, I guess, what we'll call uh, viewer turkey day carry gun picks. All right, we're going to start off here with Fine Ape, and he sent us a picture here of what I consider to be almost perfect. It is a great gun. This is a Langdon Tactical Beretta 92 LTT, and it's in a 1791 holster, which is a very nice holster. And not only is it in a nice holster, it's got a belt that actually matches the holster. He's actually styling here. He's holding his gut in. He's doing everything he should for the picture. The only reason I say almost perfect here and not perfect is because if you can see the whole picture, you can tell he has ironed his jeans, uh, and that just has to take off a few points but other than that an almost perfect picture here from fine ape of his beretta 92 in his 1791 holster all right next we have pete harper now pete actually sent me three pictures he sent me the one here of him i believe this is him carrying the px4 storm which is a great gun to carry i like the way he's carrying it i like the position about 330 inside waistband he also sent me a picture of what i would uh, assume is one of his less intelligent re uh, relatives pointing the guns at their genitals uh one here we have a guy another one appears to be a woman i'm not going to assume or at least maybe she wasn't always a woman until she was uh concealed carrying here so those are three pictures sent to us looks like it's a smith and wesson a glock and like I said, a PX4 Storm. Those are from Peter Harper. All right, this next set of pictures is a little confusing. It says it's from Paul Beavers and Stan Warrington. Now, Paul, I assume since his name was first and this picture is first, is the one carrying here inside waistband. Once again, appendix carry. Someone else that doesn't like his junk, I guess. But then there's another picture of someone with a belly band system here. And I thought at first that was his wife. I think I see boobage. Maybe that's boobage. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen breastuses like that, so I don't know the small ones. Uh, so I thought this was a woman, but maybe it's a man. And what makes me think it is, I like the, by the way, I like the uh, belly band holster. And the reason I think it might be a man is because I also got a picture from Carl Jr., who sent another picture here of him carrying his SIG, appendix style and he says his two nephews also sent pictures so i'm guessing those were both men and i guess this is their uncle carl every you know everybody's favorite uncle carl uh so i'm assuming three men in these pictures and i'm guessing their names are uncle carl uh paul beavers and stan warrington all right next we have three pictures coming in from an unnamed source they don't say who they are uh, the first two pictures are, like I said, the way I don't like, appendix carry, inside waistband. One's a little off to one side, so instead of blowing his balls off, he'll just shoot himself in his femoral artery. But uh, got, what is there, looks like a Glock, and then looks like uh, another Glock. And then we've got another guy down here carrying, I don't know, is that a SIG? But he's also got a revolver on the back. This must be the relative nobody likes, and he's expecting to get attacked. He wants to have a tactical advantage over everybody else. Uh, but we got three viewers here from one family, but they don't say what their family is, other than maybe a little paranoid, one of them. Uh, we got another viewer here that is also unnamed, 
and they are carrying in a kind of a belly band style, but with a regular holster. And they give me no name, no information. I'm really afraid of misgendering this person. I'm assuming it's a woman, but uh, I can't tell 100% with what I can see. So unless they drop their trousers, I don't want to take a chance of being wrong here, but I did want to show their picture even though they didn't send a name. All right, the next picture here was sent from an unnamed viewer and I was a little afraid to open it because it was titled Turkey Day Dump. So I was a little afraid and a little intrigued. But when I opened it, I was happy to see it's just a regular guy here showing off his shoulder holster and his Glock. And I wanted to show it because, you know, you don't see a lot of shoulder holsters. And this was a perfect example of one. So I wanted to show this. The only thing I can find wrong with this uh, picture is, well, he forgot to suck his gut in for one, unless that is him sucking his gut in. And then that's okay. We'll let it pass. But it looks like his tattoo is fading off. Do they do that? Do tattoos rub off? I didn't think they were supposed to do that, but appears like this one is. But I wanted to show this unnamed person with a shoulder holster with his Glock. All right, next we got a gun here from Bill. I do believe this is a CZ, but I can't really tell. My eyes ain't so good. And I think he's carrying it right in the center of his belly on some sort of strap. Uh, but I assume that's a human belly. That's a little weird. And he's wearing like gym shorts. Like he's showing us a crotch shot of his gym shorts. Uh, you're lucky I cropped it down because it's kind of unpleasant. Uh, imagine this picture being a little more unpleasant. Uh, but I wanted to show it because Bill sent it in here and it's uh, kind of a, a, a different way to carry. Reminds me of the one of the, the lady earlier that sent the picture of carrying in a similar way. Maybe these two are related. All right, next we have David Spann, who seems very excited that we both have a very common first name. Uh, he is carrying what appears to be his Smith & Wesson in a small of back holster, which I don't like small back holsters. I think they're a safety risk, but he's carrying it in a little bit different position. He's carrying it right over where his, I guess his right ass cheek would be if he had an ass, which he doesn't seem to have. You know, a lot of my viewers suffer from that gluteus deficiency syndrome. Uh, so not so bad here. It is a little bit of an odd can't. But, you know, if it works for him, it works for him. Thank goodness he doesn't have that ass so he can carry it a little bit uh, farther around rather than carry it in the small of his back. So there we have David Spann with his Smith & Wesson in a kind of unique carry style here. I will give him extra points, though, because I do think the belt works with the holster. All right, next we have Tom Dupree, who seems to think that being from South Carolina is something you should brag about. Uh, but here he appears to be, I don't know, auditioning for a job at Vogue or something, the way he's striking that pose. But he's carrying his, looks like a CZ here, inside waistband, pointing it at his junk, just like a lot of the other viewers are doing. And then there's also a second picture he sent in of a Glock being carried in a far more responsible manner. Uh, although I don't know if that's him or his wife. The nails are nicely done here, but I can't see his nails in the other picture. So this might be two pictures of him with different carry guns, but I'm going to assume that it's him and his wife. And that's Tom Dupree from South Carolina. And he doesn't say what his wife's name is. All right, next is from Patio Pat. Now this is definitely his wife because he says, check out my wife's carry gun. And it appears to be, uh, I can't tell from the picture with, you know, my eyesight. But I can tell she's for some reason wearing some kind of Puritan pilgrim shirt. I don't know where, why that is. Is it a costume party? Uh, or is this one of those weird cults where women have to wear old timey clothes and are not allowed to leave the house or have opinions or anything? If that's the case, why are you letting her carry a gun? You shouldn't be letting her carry a gun or then she's gonna start having opinions. Uh, and you ain't gonna be able to do much about it. But this is a picture from Patio Pat of his wife and her carry gun. All right, next we have Luke Jones. He sent us this picture here, and I want to say this picture is pure chaos. Now, I like his carry position. I like his carry gun, a Springfield Armory 1911, but he is wearing a what I would call a red leather basket weave holster with the Texas badge on the front of it. He's wearing a light brown, like a punch pattern leather belt, and he's topping it off with designer jeans. So this is, like I said, chaos. I mean, pick a style, buddy. It looks like your, your entire carry rig looks like someone's living room from 1965. Uh, it looks a little odd, but well prepared with that 1911. And I do like every piece separately. Well, maybe not the, uh, uh, you know, Jordache jeans or whatever they are there. But 
overall, I still think you're doing well, even though it is, like I said, chaos. All right, next we have a picture from Wayne Mathers. I always like that name, Wayne. I think everyone in my uh, age demographic has that Uncle Wayne. You know, the one that when before he would come over for like Thanksgiving or Christmas, the parents would sit down with the kids and say, now remember, don't make eye contact with Uncle Wayne or mention Vietnam or he'll go batshit crazy and eat everybody's eyeballs. So, or maybe that's just me. But uh, Wayne sent me a picture here, which is obviously a gratuitous crotch shot. Not that I don't appreciate it, but it's obvious. And it's also obvious that he's looking to get his crotch shot because he's carrying inside waistband appendix with a 1911. So, and I don't really care what gun it is, but don't carry that way, everybody. But uh, looks like he's well prepared here. I can't tell if that's a Kimber. It looks like it might be a Kimber. Uh, he is wearing acid washed, low rise jeans. So he might need that gun because I can't imagine a lot of people approve of that. Uh, I'm showing it though. That shows you how open-minded I am as a person that I'm willing to show this picture. But uh, that there is from Wayne Mathers showing us how he is carrying his 1911 in his low rise acid washed jeans. All right. Next we have Ralph Lamonson. I guess that's how he pronounces his name. Well, not how he pronounces it. That's how it's spelled, Lamonson. He might pronounce it Smith for all I know. But I want to show this because carry method aside, like I said, many times in this video, it's getting tiring how many times I have to say it. I don't approve of the carry position, but everything about this picture to show it is perfect. It doesn't show too much crotch. He's not showing any skin. There's no questionable style decisions here. This is just a great picture of his Glock in his inside waistband holster. And like I said, this came from Ralph Lamonson. Uh, and like I said, it is the perfect picture. All right, next we have another gun sent in by an unknown viewer who uh, in his title says fallen and can't get up, which I expected to open the picture and see someone fallen who can't get up. But what I see is a picture of somebody's Wonder 9 polymer gun here with a red dot on it being carried once again appendix. Uh, and about the only thing I can tell from this picture is that he must not be the most popular relative because it looks like they're making him stay out in the yard based from the picture. So if this is Thanksgiving Day uh, with the family, it looks like he's been, like I said, relegated to the outdoors, but wanted to send his picture even though he didn't give me a name. All right, next we have another unnamed viewer. People, send your names with your picture so I know who I'm talking about. The emails come across as this garbled mess half the time. So this person is showing his Glock that he's got inside waistband. Now I can't tell much here because like I said, he didn't show me too much. He didn't show me like the crotch shot and everything, but it looks like he's carrying it at about three o'clock, which I approve of, you know, not going to shoot himself in the balls or the femoral artery. Now he does say, sorry, it's not a revolver. And I'm like, you know, you don't have to be sorry that you're not carrying a revolver, that you're carrying, you know, one of those polymer wonder nines because people like myself that carry the wheel guns, we can be prepared for the real threats. And you guys with your nine millimeters can be prepared if we get, I don't know, uh, attacked by a pack of wild bunnies or something. So don't apologize. You're prepared for some things. All right, next, last but not least, we are going to finish up with Ken Worth, who wrote a little dissertation then sent it along with this, in which he tells me he's from Arkansas, which made me think someone must have wrote this for him since he's from Arkansas. But he uh, gave me quite a bit of information, and he sent me the picture of his competition-style drop leg holster with his full-size long-barreled Kiapa Rhino in it. Everyone knows I love Kiapa Rhinos, and this is awesome. This is really showing off for Thanksgiving. Uh, now, it does make me think that he probably has a tiny penis, but that's okay. Uh, you got a nice gun. Doesn't matter if you got a tiny penis. So I wanted to show this because, like I said, this is unique. This is awesome. This is really showing off if this is what you carried for Thanksgiving. So really fond of this picture. And this one was from Kenworth showing his Kiapa Rhino in his competition holster. All right, everyone, that's day one of viewer Turkey Day carry gun picks. Stay tuned tomorrow for another episode to see if your picture is featured.